up you guys? Welcome back to the Average Joe on Money Financial Channel and welcome to your second stimulus check update for Monday, May 25th, 2020. Do me a favor, hit that like button below for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps out this video get pushed out to more people. But if by chance you don't learn anything new, you don't find any value out of the video, then by all means take the like away from me. Okay, so the Senate is in recess right now. Senate Republicans, Senate Democrats not doing anything to solve this problem right now. Here's what we do know right now moving forward. The HEROES Act has passed past the House and it's ready for the Senate to pick it up for negotiation. Whether that bill gets picked up to be negotiated and adjusted based on what Senate Republicans have in mind, we don't know if they're going to do that or not. We do know that Democrats want to pass stimulus checks for the American people. They did that in the HEROES Act. We also know that House Republicans and Senate Republicans are certainly open to the idea of a second round of stimulus checks to the American people. They've said so. We also know that the White House is open to a second round of stimulus checks. So we've got Republicans, we've got Democrats, and we have the White House saying, yes, more stimulus checks are okay. There's an opportunity right now to advance a bill that just passes stimulus checks for the American people. So my question to you is, why isn't that happening? I'll save you a little time here. It's because neither side truly cares about you. No matter what they say to the cameras, they have an agenda they want to pass. Just about every single politician in Washington is after more power. Now, they'll never admit that, but that's what they're truly after. And if somebody offered them the power to unilaterally make changes here in this country, they'd take that power. Democrats and Republicans are concerned not about the American people, but about concerned about winning in the court of public opinion. They're concerned about talking points. They're concerned about how they can then frame what gets passed as how they represented the people. The reason why they won't advance a bill just with a second round of stimulus checks to help those who are hurting the most, which by the way would not cost anywhere near a trillion or two trillion or three trillion dollars, it would be perhaps half a trillion dollars at the most. The reason Democrats won't allow this to happen is because they cannot leave negotiations without a state and local funding bill. They're also unwilling to compromise on the voting by mail. Republicans have said that it's a non-starter, to move forward without liability protections for businesses. Both sides agree about this one thing, but refuse to agree on it and pass that one bill because of the other things that they have to pass because that's what their agenda is. Both Democrats and Republicans would rather talk until they're blue in the face about why they're right and why they are stuck in their position rather than pass a bill, a simple bill, not 1,800 pages, not even 50 pages. It could be a three-page bill. And they could get money in the hands of the American people and solve all the other problems later once they're truly known. And once the economy is back to work. I would challenge you today, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, conservative or liberal, no matter where you fall when it comes to politics, think critically about this. Why can't they pass a simple bill? Hopefully, as we move further through this week and as we get into next week and the Senate is back from recess, we'll get more information about what's going to actually be done. And of course, as we get new information, we will jump behind the camera and let you know. Now is your opportunity to leave your two cents in the comments below. Do you think that Democrats and Republicans should be able to come together and pass a simple three to five page bill that gives a second round of stimulus checks to the American people? Also, for those of you struggling right now with your finances, just know I've got two videos dropping this week about how to manage your money and how to manage your debt during a crisis. So if you haven't done it yet, and how have you not done it yet? Make sure to hit that subscribe button below and click on that notification bell to be alerted to those future videos I just mentioned, as well as all of my future personal finance videos. I put out two to three videos each and every week designed to help the average Joe out there, people like you and me, with all things personal finance, whether it's how to build a budget, how to get rid of your consumer debt as quickly as possible, how to invest your money for the future, and everything else in between. The great news for you is, even though this video, it's about to end, the learning does not have to stop. You can click on these videos right over there.